Shot. Small mouth. Especially on the drop shot, JP Hammer shed. PTO. Fish on this creek here. That's a good fight. There we go. Little guy, but still fun. There he is. There's the drop shot right there. Come right out of this current right here. This creek flows all the way down. This is a nice little hole with some current. It flows all the way back around too. Still fishing in Illinois. Uh, the lake you guys see me fish, this is like 50 minutes uh, from the lake that I fish at right here. So there he is. Fish on. Oh, that's a little smelly again. Still fish in this creek. There we go. Right. Hold on, little guy. Found that drop shot still. That JP Hammer shed. A little smallies, but. He came right underneath this tree right here in the shade and it was a little bit current, so. I think I barely hooked them though. First wolf mama, cool. Okay, okay. Okay. On that Jack Obinski I just got from Tackle Warehouse. First day out using it. Hopefully I got that hit on camera here. I'll show you guys. He ain't big. Probably barely a pound if that. A little smallmouth though. That's like my 15th cast probably. So. Jack Obinski popper there. I'm not sure if the sun's hitting it. There you guys go. That spinner blade blade there. Cool. Missed it. Another smallmouth though. There he is again. It's a little guy. I bet he's nipping at the blade underneath. Little guy. Little, little, little. Okay. Stop at any time now. On the Binskito. By Jackal. Top water popper prop bait kind of deal. You can see how small he is there. Little guy. First one of the day. 
and he threw me. Oh, I'm a bit sick today, guys. I was saying I'm gonna fish these docks really hard. They're on the drop shot by PTL, the 3.6 JP Hammer in Susky Slayer color. This is gonna be the pro pack to win in the contest. Sorry, I sound a little sick, guys, but uh, water's very clear now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was very stained when I fished the tournament. It was really stained water. Now it's pretty crystal clear. And he came up from underneath this dock. He was way pushed up, way back in there. I fished this dock right here really hard, but I didn't skip it under there as far as I did on this one. So if I start finding fish way under there, hidden more, I'm gonna go back over that dock and do the same thing. So stay tuned, guys, and hopefully we can find something. Got him, Jackal Pompadour. Smally. There we go. First fish on this Jackal bait. Smashed around in a pause. This is my second hit on this bait. I don't think I got the first one on camera. I don't think I was recording. That'd have been a little fish. Not huge, but first, first fish of the day. Beautiful little smallie. There he is right there. Fat little guy too. Chunky. Came right off this ledge here. Hopefully the uh, camera was pointing in the right direction. Let him go really quick. Off he goes. And uh, along this bank right here, if you can see around that tree, you see that log sticking up. There's a lot of lumber down here. Lots of big trees laid down through the water. So I fished this in the past on a boat. And you can see them all when the water is super clear. Tons and tons of wood underneath. So I'm sure that's where I pulled him off of. I'm sure he was sitting down there. You couldn't handle that, so Jackal Pompadour and Kingfisher color. First fish on it. And I've thrown it just today. I've thrown it maybe for like an hour so far. So two hits in about an hour. Top water bite hasn't been very good. Um, but as soon as this fall kicks in, uh, fishing will get really good. It's been slow for about a month, I'd say, with fish here and there. But we'll see if we can get some, one more. Oh, he came off. Wow. I hooked him solid too, I thought. On that pompadour. I'm not sure if I got the hit on camera because he hit it at first. And then I turned my camera on really quick. And the very first crank, I barely even moved it and he just smoked it.